Hello, so in this video, we're going to be reviewing our 2D shapes. What does 2D shape mean? 2D shape means that there are flat shapes. There are 2D shapes and there are 3D shapes. The 3D shapes are the solid shapes, the, the shapes that you can see, that you can touch. You can also touch flat 2D shapes, but it's more easy to identify around us 3D shapes, okay? So now uh, I'm going to share a presentation with you guys where we are going to review the 2D shapes, okay? And I also want to uh, remember you that shapes are all around us, okay? As the colors, the shapes are all around us too. So if you can see here on Miss Valeria's space or where Miss Valeria is sitting, you can see that there's a door on this side and the doors are rectangle shaped. There are also these paintings here on the wall and they are shaped as a rectangle. Okay, so you can see also Miss Valeria's glasses. What shape are they? They are circle, right? Miss Valeria's earrings, what shape are they? They are like circles. But these circles, you can see the pearls on Miss Valeria's earrings. They are 3D shapes. Why? Because they are solid and you can touch them, right? As you can touch the door, as you can touch the paintings. So these are 3D shapes. And if I were to say what shape is my earring, it would be a sphere. Okay, so a shape like a, a ball, right? So now, in another video, we're going to review the, the 3D shapes, but now we're going to review 2D shapes. And 2D shapes, repeat after me, 2D shapes are flat shapes, okay? So here, on the presentation, the first shape that we see is a circle. And does a circle have sides? Does a circle have sides like a square? No, because it's a line that goes around and around and around with no ending and no, no sides like a rectangle. So this is a circle. Repeat after me, circle, circle. Now we're going to drag the circle into the box next to the button. Look, this is a button in a shape like a circle. Okay, so now we're, is, this a, is this a circle? Is this a circle? Is this a circle? Yes, so we're going to drag and we're going to put it in the box next to the circle. Now we're going to review square. Repeat after me, square, square, square. And now the square has four sides. It has one, two, three, four equal sides, okay? So what does that mean? That all the sizes are the same size, okay? so. This side, this parallel side, is the same as the one on the top and in the bottom. It's the same size, size, sides. okay? So this is a square and it has four sides. It has one, two, three, and four. So now we're going to drag the square and put it in the box. So is this a square? Is this a square? Yes, so we're going to drag it and we're going to put it here on the box. Now, well, this is a chocolate, right? So this chocolate is shaped like a square. Now we're going to review 
triangle. Repeat after me. Triangle. Triangle. And the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. Three sides. It goes one, two, and three. Okay? Going to count. This is a half of a sandwich. Going to count. One, two, and three. Again, one, two, and three. The triangle has three sides. So let's see. Do you think this is a triangle? This is not a triangle. This is a circle. Is this a triangle? No, it's a square and it has four sides. Is this a triangle? Let's count the sizes. One, two, and three. Yes, it is a triangle. So we're going to put it in the box. Now, this is a trapezoid. And do you remember our tables in our classroom? Uh, if we split them, they are a trapezoid. If we put them together, they are a pentagon. But if we, if we split them, they are a trapezoid. So the trapezoid has four sizes, but it's different than the square, right? So we're going to count one, two, three, four. So you can see there's a long side and there is a shorter side and the two parallel parallel line, lines are the same size. So there's a long, there's a short, and there are two that are the same. And this is a trapezoid. Repeat after me, trapezoid, trapezoid. It almost looks like a, like a triangle, right? Without the, without the peak at the top. But it, 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 it may look like a triangle, like a flat triangle without the peak on the top. Okay, so now, is this a triangle? It has four sides, but it's not, a, it's not a trapezoid. It's a rectangle. Is this a trapezoid? It has four sides, but it's not a trapezoid. Is this a trapezoid? Yes, it has four four sizes. It has a one long side, a shorter one on the top, and then two parallel sides that are the same. So we're going to move the trapezoid and put it here on the box. Now we have a rectangle, a rectangle. Repeat after me, rectangle, rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. It has two, two long sides, one on the top and one on the bottom, and it has two equal sides. Two sides that are the same. This one and this one are the same, and it has two short, short lines and two big lines. So that's um, how we make a triangle. You can make it uh, either way, the, the way that is here, or you can make the two shorter lines, one on the top and one in the middle, sorry, one on the top and one on the bottom, and the two big sides, side to side or parallel. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now, is this a trapezoid? No, this is not a trapezoid. Is Sorry, is this a rectangle? No, this is not a rectangle, it's a trapezoid. Is this a rectangle? No, it's not a rectangle. Is this a rectangle? Yes, look. It's the same as the envelope. I'm going to put it here on the box. Now we have a rhombus. You can call it rhombus or you can call it diamond. Whatever you choose, it's fine. <clears throat> so this is a rhombus. And the rhombus looks like a diamond. That's why sometimes we call the rhombus diamond and it's okay. And the, and the rhombus has four sides. The, the, the four sides are the same. Just the way 
the the um, rhombus look is different than the um, than a square that has four equal sides. <clears throat> so we have we have like it's like a triangle, like a two triangle, one on the top and one on one on the bottom. So if you can see here, we have one, two, three, four. But if you can picture in your mind, you can see two two triangles. We have one triangle here and then one triangle here that is like flipped down. Okay, so this is the way we do a rhombus. One, two, three, four. And it looks like a diamond. So you're not gonna, it's very easy to identify. It looks like a diamond and it's called rhombus or diamond. Whatever you choose, it's fine. Okay, so is this a rhombus? No, is this a rhombus? Yes, it's a rhombus. Look, one, two, three, four, and it looks like a diamond. There we go. Now we have oval, oval. Now the oval is looks kind like kind of a, like a circle, but it's a long circle or it's shaped like an egg. So this is a oval and it has no size because it's a one, one line, no ending line, and it has no size. So here we have a pentagon, a octagon, and an oval. Okay, this is an oval, and we're going to put it here on the box. Repeat after me, oval, oval. Okay, now we have a pentagon, and the pentagon, the pentagon looks like um, it has five sides, okay? So it has one, two, three, four, and five, okay? One, two, three, four, and five, five sides. It almost looks like a house, right? So here we have, is this a pentagon? Repeat after me, pentagon, pentagon. No, this is not a pentagon. Is this a pentagon? No, it's not a pentagon, it's an octagon. Is this a pentagon? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, the, the pentagon has five sides. Okay, now, here we have a octagon. 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 Repeat after me. Octagon. Octagon. And the octagon has eight sides. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight sides. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. And it looks like a stop sign. So repeat after me, octagon, octagon. Okay, is this an octagon? No, it's an oval. Is this an octagon? Yes, it's a, an octagon. So we're going to put it on the box. And is this an octagon? No, it's a pentagon. So these are our 2D shapes that we have reviewed on this video. Now, we are going to play a game. We're going to hear... Find the circle. Okay, so we're going to find the circle. Is this a circle? No. Is this a circle? No. Is this a circle? Yes. Look, there are flat shapes and there are 3D shapes. Okay, so we're going to be very careful on what we choose. Find the triangle. Find the triangle. Is this a triangle? No. Is this a triangle? No. Is this a triangle? No. This is a triangle. Find the square. Find the square. Is this a square? No. Is this a square? No. Is this a square? Yes, I'm gonna click on the square. Find. Find the rectangle. The rectangle, is this a rectangle? 
Remember the rectangle has four sides, two long sides and two short sides. Okay, is this a rectangle? No, is this a rectangle? Yes. Find the hexagon. The hexagon has six sizes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is a hexagon. Okay, and this. Find the cone. This is a 3D shape. So we're going to stop right here because in another lesson you are going to see or you're going to, we are going to review our 3D shapes. So this is the end of the video of 2D shapes.